integrate tan squared x times secant x solution. So when you look at this problem, um, always try to think simple. So let's see. If we let u be secant, then du is secant tangent, and we get stuck because we only have uh, one secant. And if we let u be tangent, uh, then du is secant squared, and again, we're stuck because we only have uh, one secant. So maybe uh, we can use an identity to rewrite this. So 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. So if we solve this for tangent squared by subtracting 1 from both sides, we end up with tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. So let's go ahead and use this identity and see if anything comes from that. So we can write this as parentheses secant squared x minus 1 times the secant of x dx. All right, the natural thing to do now is maybe distribute. So this becomes the integral, let's see, secant squared times secant, oh, secant cubed x dx, that's a famous integral, minus uh, the integral of secant x dx. So to integrate secant cubed, that is a problem on its own. So that is an entire problem. Um, if you have it memorized, it's equal to 1 half secant x tangent x plus 1 half the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. So this is equal to all of this. It's a famous integral. Minus, and then this one is also something that uh, is typically memorized. It's the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. And then here we have a plus c. All right, good stuff. So this is really, there's really a 2 over 2 here, right? You want to combine these. So 1 half natural log absolute value secant plus tangent minus 2 over 2 natural log absolute value secant plus tangent. That's going to give you a negative 1 half. So this is 1 half secant x tangent x minus, and then 1 half natural log absolute value secant x plus tangent x, and then plus our constant of integration, c. So unfortunately in this problem, um, to show all the work, you'd have to actually integrate this. This requires, uh, or can be done, by using integration by parts two times, right? It's a famous integral. And this one is a, just a clever trick, uh, but again, totally worth memorizing the integral of secant x. I hope this video uh, made sense, and I hope it's been helpful. That's it.